All right. Week three is jump ropes. So we're going to be warming up with jump ropes and also working on making a straight line. So let's just start with some variations on the jump rope. Of course, they can just start turning the rope. And at different levels, it's going to be the challenge of just getting over the rope. For the higher level kids, you can do a little bit of variety. You can try some one foot jumps. You can try some tuck jumps. You can try some double jumps. And then right back to jumping and have them actually travel forward and travel backward. Very good. Now lay the rope out and just make a straight line. Lay it all the way on the floor first. Okay. And what they can do with this at the very beginning just to work on some straight body positions for jumping, especially for their littler ones that can't jump over the rope, put your arms over your head and just jump from side to side over the rope, traveling forward and backward, trying to miss the rope, just getting the idea. And then you can actually have them try to turn their hands like they're jumping jump ropes. And again, for the kids that have trouble just getting over the rope, they can do these kind of exercises to get the hang of it and then face that way and do the same thing, circling the rope frontwards, frontwards, yes. Very good, all right, and now to teach just an element of straight line, they're gonna think of a rope after they just made a line, a straight line, so you have them stand on the jump rope at any point on the rope and have them stretch the jump rope all the way over their head, pushing it and trying to make it as tall as they can so that they understand that when you make a handstand, a line, you're stretching from the bottom, squeezing your knees, lifting your hips, lifting your shoulders, and pushing those arms all the way up to the ceiling. And that's the beginning of the straight line right there, getting them to push, understanding that it's a push and not a pull. Then you can have them go to the white lines on the floor and have them lay on their stomach. Because before they can hold a straight line in the air, it starts on the floor. Reaching the fingers as far away, reaching the feet as far away, trying to make that turtle back, and then pressing the hip bones to the floor. So the right shape is going to be with the ribs in and with the hip bones flat. So one part of your body is going in and one part of your body is pressing down. Then you can have them turn over and lay on their back. And again, the straight line, making the fingers long and pushing, pushing, pushing. Tell them to grow their fingers, grow their toes. Try to press their low back into the floor. Then have them stand up and try to make a nice big handstand, stretching long and tall. Tell them as long as they can get from fingers to toes, as long as they can get, you'll find that they may even be able to hold the handstand if they hold really long and tall. All right, and there's not really a wrong and a right as far as how they go into and come out of. At different phases, you can have them T into and T out of, or you can have them do a full arabesque into. All of those are helpful. The bottom line is the more they hold the handstands, the better they're going to get. And then we'll go over to the tumble track. And again, start by just bouncing right side up in a handstand line going forward and constantly correcting. This is like active core, pressing their ribs in, flattening their hips, pointing their toes, and then doing it backwards, the same thing, keeping the pressure in the arms so they learn how to push. Keep pushing the hands away. Then they can do the bounce to handstands where they just kick their legs up and come down like donkey kicks, but trying to take it all the way up to the handstand. Just hitting it and then kicking back up and kicking back up. That's right. And then if they're a little more advanced, they can actually go in and do some handstand hops. And this is really advanced, but it's really fun to try. That's a little bit more challenging, but a great exercise. And then of course on the beam, it's good to start with the donkey kicks. Just making sure that on the beam, the hand placement is right for the handstand. The thumbs are on the top, the fingers are on the side, the arms are locked, their eyes are on the beam. Now have them tuck the legs in 
and just start lifting up, keeping the pressure into the beam. Ready? K little donkey kicks. Yep. So that they feel how hard they have to push down on the beam. And then they can just keep kicking higher and higher, learning how to square their hips and shoulders before you step in off of one foot. This is even good for the higher level kids to do just to strengthen their upper body and make sure they're sure, sure of the hand placement. And now we'll do our actual handstand. Start with the arms up overhead or front middle, either, either is correct. And when you start, trying to make the straight line. Ribs in and hips flat, step down one, step down two, and teach them right away on the handstand to look at the beam. Look at the beam, go in. Look at the beam when you come out and watch that first foot step right on the beam. Feet should be in the center of the beam at all times. And let's go ahead and go over to bars. We're gonna take the floor rail and it's gonna be used against the bar, or the, let's do it against the rack. Throughout our gym, all of our athletes just need to be holding handstands more for longer periods of time. And with that handstand, they can do hip twists side to side. That way when they go to pirouette, their bodies are gonna understand how to move their hips. They can do hip touches or, or shoulder touches where they take one hand off at a time. And then they can do grip changes. That's all right, go back up. Turn one hand at a time and then the other hand and then turn them back the other way. And you can see all of this is just strengthening and awareness for when they can do bigger gymnastics. But learning a front grip and a back grip are very valuable tools at the very beginning of the handstand work.